If you want to fly a drone at night in the United States, most of you know that you're required to have an FAA approved anti-collision light attached. And other countries have similar rules to that. Now they're getting to be a lot of different options available and it can be difficult to purchase a good one because sometimes the product description does not match with the actual performance of that light. And after watching this video, I hope you have a better idea of which drone strobe light is the best option for you to get for your drone. Now, if you've been flying drones for quite a while, you may already know about the two most popular strobes, the Loom Cube strobe and the Firehouse Arc 5. Now, I've been using both of these for the past few years, and they have both been working great for me. And I noticed that there are getting to be a lot of options on Amazon. And I wanted to help clear up some confusion for those of you trying to decide where to invest your money. So I'll give you some objective as well as subjective thoughts on all of these strobes. And at the end, I'll provide my overall recommendation. So the Loom Cube strobe was sent to me for free about three years ago from Loom Cube. And all the rest of these I actually purchased with my own money. Now the Loom Cube has been the workhorse for me because I love the design and meets that three mile requirement set by the FAA. And it works as good today as it did three years ago. It's a bubble shape that weighs 10 grams and it's claimed to get up to six hours of battery life. In my testing the other day, I got just over seven and a half hours of runtime. It has an Amazon rating of 4.5 with 1290 reviews. So the people that have it seem to love it. It used to be the most expensive of all of the strobes that you could buy, but they recently lowered the price on Amazon to $29.99, which I believe is more appropriate. This has been a great strobe that has been very dependable for me for the past three years. However, with the competition getting better, I think it's time for a redesign from Loom Cube to make it just a little bit lighter and have more powerful LEDs. Now the strobe that really surprised me was this tiny little thing from VFly or ViFly. I'm gonna call it VFly. I had pretty low expectations for it just because of its super simple design and its small size. But in the nighttime test, it did quite well. This little strobe is made up of three white LEDs and then a green and a red LED. It weighs only six grams and it comes in at the lowest cost of $14.99. And it does claim to meet FAA regulations. It has a tiny 160 milliamp hour battery that claims four hours of battery life, but I only got 90 minutes in my testing. It has a 4.5 Amazon rating with 276 reviews. Now I ordered the Lucorb strobe mostly because of the unique dome shaped design. It weighs 16 grams, it costs $26.99 and it has a 400 milliamp hour battery that claims five hours of battery life. And I got four hours in my testing. It has a 4.5 rating with 271 reviews. Now the Lucorb does have one issue that I think limits its usability. It has one strobe of each color and they are separated by these little like plastic or maybe it's like cardboard walls inside the dome. And to get the most light out of this thing, they all need to be flashing at the same time. The white one, the red one, and the green one. And that makes the color less visible in the sky. It's not a bright white light, it's a soft light. And I think that really limits its reach. Now it does claim to meet FAA guidelines, but I have a pretty difficult time believing that you can see this thing from three miles away. I think if it had just three white LEDs, it would be much better. I ordered the Ulanzi strobe just to have something terrible to compare to the other ones. Ulanzi does make some good accessories for drones and action cameras and things like that, but this is not one of their better products. It comes in at 1995 and it weighs 6.35 grams. It has a 100 milliamp hour battery. Surprisingly, this thing actually did really well. It got almost nine hours of battery life. So that's one good thing about it. Now the literature, when you look it up, claims to reach up to three kilometers and not three miles. And I think that's a little misleading because many shoppers will skim through that description and they'll see that three and then they'll think that it meets FAA regulations, but it, it doesn't, it, and it doesn't claim to meet it, but it's kind of misleading having that three kilometer on there. There's no way that this thing will reach three miles, let alone a thousand feet. It has a very suspicious 4.5 rating with 433 reviews. So either those reviewers have never actually seen a real strobe or they aren't real people. But again, it does last for nine hours. So that's something, I guess, if you're gonna keep your drone relatively close, 
it will help with visibility. The one that I was most excited to try was this one right here, the Symic GS600. Now Symic is an up and coming drone and camera accessory company that actually puts out some pretty high quality items. I've reviewed a few of their drone cases and I've been pretty pleased. Now this is new to their lineup, so it only has 24 Amazon ratings, but it does score a 4.5. It has a claimed range of 3.7 miles. It's very heavy at 21 grams. It has a 500 milliamp hour battery that's claimed to get three hours of battery life with no loss of brightness. But this thing actually lasted nine hours. Like I turned it off because I had to go to bed and it probably could have gone for 10 hours. I don't know, but I was just amazed at how long this thing was <laughs> staying bright. Now, Samic also makes a smaller nine gram version for $5 less, but that one does not meet FAA regulations. Now, finally, I don't have to tell many of you that the Firehouse Arc 5 is the cream of the crop in this lineup. It only costs $34, it weighs 13 grams, it has a 250 milliamp hour battery that can last up to six hours, and I actually got six hours in my test. It probably would have gone a little bit longer, but I pulled it because it got so dim towards the end. Now the reason this thing is so bright is because it uses five watt LEDs, rather than like a two or a three watt LED like most other strobes on the market today. You can see this little thing from four miles away. It has a 4.5 rating with 529 reviews. And if you visit any drone forum or any Facebook group, you can read the rave reviews about it. There's no arguing that this strobe dominates the market for a reason. And unless LumCube steps up to the plate like I want them to, it's gonna be hard to beat the quality of this strobe. But the one downside, it does have a downside, is it's the only strobe out of all six of these that significantly lost brightness as time went on. It stayed bright for about four hours, but after that, it slowly got more dim. So after about four hours, I started to notice that it was getting more dim than the other ones as they were strobing. And then by the time I got to six hours, you could barely see it. So I did some nighttime testing with all of these strobes the other night on my DJI Mini 2. I wanted to compare the brightness of each of them at about a thousand feet away. Now I chose not to fly them three miles away just because I don't feel comfortable doing that where I live. But instead, I'm gonna give you a subjective rating of each of them. and you're just gonna have to trust me. I flew them a thousand feet and then I had them at a hundred feet altitude and I didn't even bother testing out the Ulanzi because I knew it wouldn't even come close. So this one gets sixth place with a brightness rating of one out of 10. I awarded fifth place to the Lucorb with a visibility rating of five out of 10. And again, I really don't think you could see this thing from three miles away, but it would be useful for knowing where your drone is as long as you keep it no further than 1500 feet away. Fourth place goes to the V-Fly, which I was surprised at how bright this little thing was. I gave it a seven out of 10 for brightness, but the battery life is pretty poor. I only got 90 minutes with that. Here we got the V-Fly or Vi-Fly. I'm not sure what to call it. Let's compare it side by side with the firehouse here. There we go. I don't know, they're pretty close. No, it's definitely smaller, but I think for as tiny as it is, it's pretty bright. It's definitely not as bright, I guess, of the firehouse, but it's pretty good. The third place strobe goes to Loom Cube with a brightness rating of eight out of 10. It's still a great strobe, but it does need to be improved. Second place goes to the newcomer from Symic. I give it a 10 out of 10 for brightness, but I docked a half a point just because it's so stinking big and heavy. And finally, you probably already knew this before you started watching this video, but the Firehouse Arc 5 dominates the drone strobe light arena with its very nice pricing, exceptional battery life, brightness, and visibility range, and it's market tested and approved by so many drone pilots. All right, we're coming up on a thousand feet right now and a hundred feet in altitude. And it is definitely much brighter. I would say it is twice as bright as the Loom Cube. Um, it's a much bigger strobe, like it's spread out much more. This is very, very bright. The Firehouse is, is an amazing strobe. Again, the only slight disadvantage to it is that it fades in brightness significantly after four hours. But that's pretty minor because how often are you gonna need it to last longer than that? Now, at the end of the testing the other night, I just lined them all up on the driveway so you could see them side by side. You can see here that the Symic is very close to the firehouse, but it's just not quite as bright. And it does weigh almost twice as much. Now, finally, I tested all of these out during the daytime. I wanted to see if I can increase the distance at which I was able to see my Mini 2. Now, under normal conditions with a cloudy sky, I can see my Mini 2 at about 1,200 feet away. And after that, if I take my eyes off of it, if I look down at my screen, I sometimes can't find it again in the sky. 
so I thought maybe having a strobe on during the day would help that. I should mention you guys, I got the uh, strobes mounted on the back of the drone. Now normally you would want to mount these on the top of the drone, but we're not using it for anti-collision lighting right now because we're not flying at night, we're flying at daytime. And I just want to see if it can help improve the distance that you can fly the drone. So just be aware, uh, when I use these at night, normally I'm going to have them mounted on top of the drone. So. Now I lost sight of all of these strobes before I reached 1300 feet, except for the firehouse. I was able to see it up until my drone got to about 1500 feet away. So if you think you're gonna increase your visual line of sight distance by using a strobe during the day, I honestly don't think it helps. Yes, it certainly would help improve visibility if you have it closer than that, but I just didn't find that it's gonna help in those longer distances. Now, that being said, different people have different visions, so maybe if someone has superior vision to mine, then they might have better results. So there's my test results with these six drone strobe lights. Keep in mind that some of these are gonna put your Mini 2 over that 250 gram limit. So if you use one on your Mini 2 or any of them, except for the ViFly on your Mini, you will need to register that drone as per the FAA. Now the Loom Cube, the Firehouse and the ViFly can all be used on your Mini 2 and stay under that 250 grams. Now there are links down in the video description for all of these lights, as well as some of my favorite drone tech and gear. So if you're interested in any of that, go ahead and use those links, I really appreciate it. Click the like button if I provided you with any information that improved your life in some way today. Subscribe for more reviews like this. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for more content that you're not gonna see here on the channel. Oh, and if I really helped you today, consider a super thanks. It's like buying me a coffee. It's that little heart right down here with a dollar sign inside of it. Have a great day, everyone. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.